There, now there it says go. recording. So, Yay! Recording is on. So how come you have lots of twine, Millie? I do something called tablet weaving, and of course I don't have any here. Called what? So, tablet weaving or um, card weaving. Um, just a sec. Hey, Brian. Brian, the famous lawyer. <laughs> yeah, not that Brian. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine too. I have lots of wire too. This is Viking wire weave, which it's probably not going to focus very well, but I made this too. Oh, that's cool. I like it's woven it. out of 26 gauge copper wire. Wow. There we go. I, I did some wire rock wrapping too. Yeah, I have wire here too. I was going to see. Cool. They turned out really kind of nice. They're not that hard. Yeah. Oh, cool. Here's my rock. <laughs> Very good rock. Some kind of sandstone, I think. <laughs> I have a couple from Lake Superior because I was in Grand Marais a couple weeks ago. I was just thinking that one in your, I think it's your left hand looked like Lake Superior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't remember which hand it was in the first time. Uh -huh. You got your rocks, Marilyn? No, I'm here. <laughs> but no rocks? No rocks. I'll loan you one here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish that was. That's okay. You can watch and do it later. Yeah, I've got so much going on. I just, I thought, well, I'll just listen in. And it watch. should be re relaxing. Hi, Deb. Hi, Sue. Did you bring rocks? I did. What I don't have with me is glue at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That was just, uh, you, you can do that later anyway. I this ran out and bought some at Fairway when I picked up groceries. <laughs> uh, everyone needs glue anyway. <laughs> just this afternoon. <laughs> uh, well, I went outside and, and, and got some more rocks from my rock pile next to the, the <laughs> garage. And, uh, I found one really cool that I've been wanting because I've got a, I was thinking about things I could attach to rocks, you know, earlier and I mean like weeks ago and, and got some skeleton keys. I was doing that. I thought, oh, it'd be kind of cool to put a lock, you know, like a, yeah. a and I was well, cleaning up my junk drawer and I found a little bitty padlock and then I thought, well, it'd be cool to find a broken rock that you could padlock together and look what I found. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Broken rock. I love finding rocks that split like that. I think I'll I'll do I'll put a little glue or something under it so it stays just a little bit of jar so they can get the idea of what I was doing. But I think it's an interesting rock because Oh cool. Is like that, that's fossils in there, isn't it? Well it's, it looks like it. Number one, this this looks like a sloth or something. I don't know. <laughs> but that almost totally this is awesome. a backside. It almost looks like a paw print or something. Doesn't it? Oh my gosh, yeah, it does. Hold it up again, Sue. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's some kind of a the archaeology department. This this is oops, this is the inside of the other one. I mean that's where it was broken open and, it, and it's kind of got a see that roundies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just kind of cool. Huh. I rock, I like rocks anyway. I mean the rocks are fun. I wonder if it's some kind of fossil plant that had kind of a cone like thing with those little structures coming off to the side. Right. Does it look so you're pretty good at seeing things closely and you've got it in your hand? What do you think? <laughs> well, it, it's odd because it is those little things that are coming out there, they're very much the same, mm -hmm. aren't they? That's what made me think that. It's yeah. kind of like a, a little yeah, bit I like a we're just looking at a rocks. <laughs> you're looking at a white rock. Oh, okay. Did you bring any rocks? I did. Good. Did you bring any twine or something? I brought a bunch of ribbon, but I don't have any glue. That's okay. <laughs> That's glue, too. glue is, is, yeah. Well, I have a lot of adhesive, but I don't have glue. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. 
So I, I was, <laughs> CJ said she had she bought a bunch of rocks, and that uh, I said, well, you should have just gone to Culver's or something and by the parking lot and picked up some. And she said she did, but she got caught. So I want to hear <laughs> I, that story. No, no, it wasn't Culver's. There was another place, but yeah, no. <laughs> Did you go to jail? No. <laughs> but I didn't, I wasn't thinking because I was only a block away from the police station. It wasn't my best moment. But somebody actually came out and stopped Ma'am, ma'am, are you taking, no, it was, it was someone from the office building. Ma'am, what are you doing? I said, taking some rocks. <laughs> Last time I was at my credit union parked in the parking lot, there was a lady fishing through, they had big, big rocks because there's a, there's a culvert and there's a lot of water that goes through there when it rains and she was taking all kinds of really big rocks out of the bank's drainage. I didn't think of it. I could have gone and stolen some river rocks from the church's dry creek bed there. Right. Oh well. So instead I have rocks from China. 40 pounds of them. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. You're gonna you wrap them all? But, but, but look what I found, Sue. Yeah, yeah. Tons of keys. Well, I didn't, I remembered that I had them until I saw that one with yours on it. So are you giving any instruction or what are we doing here? We haven't started yet. I knew oh. you were coming, so I knew we weren't all here yet. This is my bravest rock for me to pick up today because it looks like dog poop. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a really weird one. Are you sure it isn't? Maybe it's petrified. Well, I washed it and it didn't get hard. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it's fossil it's, dinosaur yeah, poop. Maybe it's it might be. Might be. <laughs> I never thought of it. I have an actual de petrified rock that I found in a pasture one time. That it's a piece of wood that's pet petrified. Yeah. I forgot about it. I could have found it. No, this is I have for you. just a little one. <laughs> Looks good. I have, a couple, I have a couple big ones too, but I picked this out of my own flower bed because I didn't think of Culver's in time. <laughs> but I have this one that, well, no, that one isn't it. Okay, move. This one's got lots of little rocks. Oh, so elf, uh, fossils, huh? Speak, speaking Ultra of little rocks, Allison Robach is my uh, guest pastor tomorrow. This is my biggest rock. I, I was showing some of my rocks to one group, but somebody said, why? <laughs> why, not, why not? Why what? Why are you showing rocks or why are you wrapping them? Why, why are you wrapping them is what I assumed. It was this one, but it does look like a why, so maybe she was just commenting on the why. <laughs> it stands for why. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not indeed? My question okay. was, why are you doing it? But it's something different. I just wondered what was behind it. So why are you here then? Well, I saw, I saw I somebody was showing some, doing it. <laughs> I was showing some uh, on Facebook. I saw some pictures of some that were really cool. They were using a lot of, uh, what do you call it? That you, um, uh, like basket, basket making, canning. Painting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I caned some seats for a friend of mine once. So I had some left over. So I tried it. It's very difficult to use this because it's stiff. I mean, you soak it for 20 minutes, but still no, it's not as, but I, I made one. This raffia makes a mess when you're trying. <laughs> oh, that's what you were talking about, raffia. <laughs> uh, but you can I also have, use. I have multiple colors. Okay. This is what I have fun with a lot. It's just cord, you know, like you tie a package with. But I also got quite the setup. So I this kind of cord, you know, see how shiny it is? Mm -hmm. kind of, let's see, let me find the one I did to that. Somewhere here. Here it is. It doesn't it looks like a ribbon, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's the back side. I haven't cut anything off yet, but, but that worked also. And I have some, I think this is crochet thread, right? Yeah, it's like it. It's got a yep. metal woven through it. So I thought to try that maybe. Let's wrap the cat. No, Weasley, stop. 
<laughs> this is kind of cool. what he thought of that idea. He's eating the raffia. <laughs> he didn't like that at all. You do that, I'm okay, a raffia. So, so grab a, ra a rock and some cord. Okay. I'm just going to show you a couple of things you know, need to know to... You get it. Do you have any cord at all, CJ? No, this is rapia shit. Stop. I know, but you need something other than that uh, just to uh, help to lock it. You don't understand what I'm saying, but you will want to get done. Okay. Or on, wire. A, let, let me see if I can find my turkey trussing string. Okay. So what I did was I, I cut a string about this long. Okay. I'm going to put the ends together and tie a knot so I have a loop. That's kind of a tool we're going to use. So that's different than what you're wrapping in, right? Well, it's it's the same as what I'm wrapping in, but it can be different. Yeah, it's not going to stay. No. Okay, I want to try to get a bigger picture if I do this right now. Okay. All right, Marv, I've already forgotten how to do it. Participants. Fish line my, work? My tech guy here. Uh, no. And I don't see more. Roll, you know, roll things down. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Uh, spotlight. Here I am. Wow. Is that your table? Yeah, I'm waiting for that to disappear. I can't see past it. There we go. These are my mother's hands I'm using. It's really weird. It was nice of her to loan them to you. I know. Okay, so you've got your material, right? So if you if you know like which side you want up when you finish, okay, on the back side, and start here. And what I'm gonna what we're gonna do is when we wrap it, is we're gonna hold this kind of uh, 90 degrees to the direction we're gonna go. And just hold it with your thumb, and you start wrapping, and then you go over that. You can leave the tail there. Whoopee. Two overs. It's what I use the tape for sometimes. Okay, I got it started now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the top of this when I'm wrapping it, and then that's gonna lock that end down. Right? Right. Can I see what I'm doing? Okay, now I'm gonna back up. I'm also gonna put this loopy thing in there. And let's see, I'm going in this direction. So I'll put the loop in that direction. And now I'm gonna go over all of it. Here's a little loop here. All right. Tail thing here. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wind for a while here and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Windy, windy. This rock is a, kind of not flat enough. It's going to want to slip off the end. Let me scoot these over. Scooting, scooting. So the loopy thing is pointed out the same direction as the tail, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so now I'm not doing this as much as I would, but once you get to where you're done, and you kind of all even these out on the other side, the back side looks awful, but pretend it looks good. Then you slip this, your tail end, through that loop, Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And then you grab this end here, and you pull, and it'll slide under, and that'll all be tight. And then you can cut it off. Now, what about what I've done here is is not tight enough. What about the top? Wait, wait, you got another end of this thing, right? See, I, I would cut this off, and I would cut this off. Weasley, I'm gonna bop you on here. For my dull scissors. Oh, you didn't say to bring dull scissors. <laughs> wait, 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 Sue, wait. What? So, so I bring this thing around to the back. What do I do with this deal? I can't see what deal you're talking about. Just a second. Well, I mean, does that go through the loopy thing? The the end of it when you're done wrapping goes through the loopy thing. So the what one about that was that? Uh, let, let me let me cancel spotlight. Here we go. Okay. I don't know what I do now, Mar. I'll review. Okay, show me what you're doing. I like your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. So what I'm trying to understand is, okay, so I've got the I've got the right angle thing. I right. got my loopy thing, which you can't see real well because it's fish line. Right. Okay, so now I've wrapped this thing around and I'm, I'm, I want to get done, but what do I do with this? Okay, if you're all done, then you would cut that off to where you've got just like a couple inches left. Yeah. And then you would slip that through your loop. As well as, as, well as my right angle thing? No, the right angle thing just stays there. You don't, you're not going to do anything else with that except cut oh, it off. Okay. Oh, that's what I was not understanding. Okay. Okay, so let me try this. So, anybody else have problems with that? You can kind of understand how to, how to lock it. Or you can just put the two ends together and tie a knot. I mean, I, I did that plenty of times. You know, it just doesn't look as neat. Oops, but what, happens if you, what happens if you tie your thumb to the rock? <laughs> You're stuck forever. You got a rocky oh. thumb. Okay, my loopy thing, okay, I gotta redo this, all right. So, t so tell us one more time when we get down to the end, where do we do with our end? Okay, uh, okay, you've got uh, you've got your right angle thing sticking out, right? Yeah. And you've got a loop under there, right? Yeah. Okay, once you're done uh, winding, now cut your ribbon to about two inches or so. Okay. That's and what I got. St stick it through the loop. Does it matter which way? No, you stick it through on the side where you've ended up winding. Okay. And now grab hold of the other half of the loop and pull it. And your ribbon should pull under all your winding. Yeah. Hey, it did, it worked. All right, okay. Hey. I must wrap too tight. <laughs> Come on, baby. So Come on. with this Stay stuff, I mean, you can wrap it. Wrap, you don't like it, you unwrap it. You're, okay, so now it's we're going to do actual, do something that looks different, okay? So start with some cord. Get more than you need, more than you could possibly, possibly wind onto a rock because it's hard to take it it'll it'll twist on you if you leave it on the spool And I want you to find, if you have more than one rock, do you have more than one rock? If you have more than one rock. I got 40 pounds of rocks. How many do you want? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's a crazy. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Marilyn. <laughs> well, you still need your loop. So if, you, if you're done with the other one, you probably pulled it out so you can use it again. Okay, I'm gonna use this rock. 
because it's kind of, it's got enough area that are perpendicular, or I mean, uh, uh, parallel? parallel, that it won't slip off in kind of both directions, because I'm going to put, I'm going to make something like this, okay? We're going to, we'll try that just so you get the idea of doing more than one thing on your rock. Can you see the small picture well enough for me not to put it on big so I lose you guys? No. Yes. <laughs> no yet. Okay, so we're gonna we got your rock, you got lots of string or whatever. We're gonna do the okay, make a right angle. Oh plus I need my stick my loop in there. All we can see is the side of your head, Sue. Yeah. Yeah, look on, on I can point my finger. See, there's another, there's another screen though that has my hands. See it? No, it doesn't. You don't have no hey, screen Wendy. With my hands? Yep. What? You put, put it on gallery your, view. Come to get your rocks? Uh, get my rocks off, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting. We want gallery view. Right go, got my loop. I'm gonna check on the good side now. I also wanna make sure I'm not crossing over. I thought you wanted to cross over. Well, then, then you, then you look on the other side. Make sure you're crossing over. Are you guys seeing? I can't see anything you're doing other than your back. I can't either. EJ, put it, put it on gallery view. Oh yeah, yeah. Put it on gallery view. Yeah, I've, I've got a, another screen there with my hands. Are you yeah, seeing everybody's you. picture? It says Art Cam. Oh, gotcha there. Okay, everybody seeing my hands? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Your mother's yeah. hands. My mother's hands. Okay, so there's where I'm going. I got my 90 degree thingy. I've got my loop in there. I forgot, however. No, this is right. Okay, so that's, uh, I'm gonna make it about that wide, okay? Okay. Then, I'm gonna kind of grab a hold of it here, stick my finger there, and go at right angles, and go back on, uh, let's see, do I have to go back on it or not? Yeah, I need to go back toward where I just came from, so that it will lock this last thread in. Wendy, how come you won't let us see you? Is Wendy there? Because I'm laying on my bed and I'm not actually rocking. I'm watching. Are you naked? <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. tell her. <laughs> what are you wearing, Wendy? Wow. <laughs> <weird. Just> smile <laughs> for you. <laughs> wow. Okay, see so where well, I'm, I'm, you I'm know. going, going back know. to lock it. <laughs> I am multitasking. Um, the Horned Frogs lost to Iowa State. That's final. Yay! <laughs> um, and uh, our illustrious president uh, nominated that conservative Amy Coney Dog Barrett. Yeah. That's all the good news I have for you. <laughs> Part of it was good anyway. Right. I know what I'll do. I tend to assume I'm around a bunch of liberals and and uh and I apologize if I'm insulting anybody else. Carol Walter would be insulted. Yeah, I knew her. She was gonna be in my book. How you guys doing? And then wasn't. It's going all right? Sure. Yeah, my rock looks exactly like yours. Okay. One you don't have. I mean, <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> oh, way to go, yeah. Wendy. You distracted me. I forgot to put my loopy thing in. Okay. Oh, yeah. I did too. Good. I did too. Although when you do this, you're going to kind of come back to the place where you started. So you could just tie in if you want to. I'm off on my own. I'm not doing what you're doing, sir. That's good. That's fine. 
So how did you get into this? I saw I saw some bunny somebody showed some pictures on Facebook one time, not too long ago. Like three weeks ago. Yeah, and I looked at it and I can do that. So so I did that. That's cool. But I need to look at those again because they they have things like sticking out on them, like what they were using the uh, uh, this stuff, and they kind of came out and had concentric loops and things that really I don't know how they did that. Oh yeah, I did not go. make this one. I did not make this one. Oh. You didn't make that? Where'd you get no. it? Did From you see. find it like that? I found it like this on the shore of Lake Superior. <laughs> I gave it to her. Okay, I'm all done. I got back to kind of where my loop is. So I'm going to stick that through there. Pull my loop through. I need another hand here. So what really cool was the loopy thing was a different color. What? It would really help if the loopy thing was a different color. You could do whatever color you wanted. That's right. Because it doesn't have I'm, to be the same material. I'm kibitzing. So that's what mine looks like. Nice. Cool. And I hate your guts already. But you could oh, now. Sorry, if you did wanted I say to, that out loud? Yeah, I mean, if you yeah, wanted to, yeah. you could keep going and put, put a line, you know, so it looked kind of woven going, you know, on top of this one. Okay, so this is one of them I did at first. It's the same kind of a thing. But in the once I decided it was wide enough, I just kind of started going off in another direction, and uh, you know, really, it's just one one piece of stuff string. You know, I'm thinking a glass of wine would make this go easier. <laughs> How about a bottle? <laughs> I'll go open one for you. Anybody got one they want to show us yet? No. Okay. Wine. All right, I'm un I'm undoing this because I didn't leave enough of a thing. I'm gonna try some of this fancy stuff. See how that works. Did you get yours done, Melly? <laughs> Kind of. I don't really understand the point, I guess. <laughs> point of what? No, I don't know. All of it's them. a Zen thing. I'm There's thinking a it's a Zen thing. There's a green one that I did first. That uh -huh. looks a lot smoother because it's a thinner thread. And then I kind of tried to wrap the blue when I turned. I kind of tried to wrap the blue next to the green, but it kind of slid over. Ah. So. Anybody else got theirs? So Sue, if you were gluing it down, would that help it from moving around? Um. If you like glued the ends so that it couldn't. Depending on what you do, sometimes if you, let me find one where it's that way. This is that one I did with that kind of a really shiny, it looks like just ribbon, but it's not, not, it's that, I haven't cut the threads yet, shiny stuff. But on the, here on, right there, where I'm kind of crisscrossing it, it tends to want to slip off. Yeah. But if I, I were to glue that after the fact, it would just kind of keep it in place. That's, I shouldn't even told you to get glue in case you didn't have any already, so.
Well, I was just thinking sometimes when you're sewing, if you tack it down, it stays where you want it to stay. Yeah, if you had something that dried quickly, it might. That's kind of what I said the scotch tape was for, that sometimes it's hard to hold that 90 degree piece and loop in place when you start, but you could just tape it on there as long as you don't go over the tape before you take it off. Try this one. And there's my loop. My loop of a different color. I got mine crisscrossy with my ribbon. Yeah? Does it look good? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Cool. Oh, good. I didn't dare think about grabbing twine. I just had all these ribbons. That's cool. Yeah, I've got some ribbon, but I haven't tried it yet. Well, some of it's too fat. It doesn't really work very well. Ah. The thinner ribbon works better. Right. Unless you had a big rock. On this rock right here. So CJ, are your rocks? Do you have one 40 pounder? Or do you have <laughs> like a bag of river rock or something? <laughs> I'm sorry. What I did you say? <laughs> I'm, seen, I'm doing I've my own thing here. I'll show you in a minute. I've seen parking meters with crocheted things around them. So, so this is, is this looks crocheted on the bottom because. My my fingers were slipping off because I got close to the edge. So then I took some on the bottom and just kind of made it look like a net, mm. tied them to each other so they couldn't slip off. There you oh, go. Wow. Yeah. Yes, it looks like you knitted it or crocheted it or something. Yeah, it does, isn't it? And that's just a, a shank button on top. So I just kept going around that and then turned, going back the other direction. It's just. Hold it up. Come on. Show it again, Sue. Yeah. Hold it oh. up so we can see. Do your head. Looks like a potato. <laughs> In a oh, neck, this maybe. Look like dog poop. <laughs> right. No, it doesn't look like dog poop anymore. It looks like a potato. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that's one I gave you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, this isn't one, the one you gave me. Oh, okay. I gave somebody one that looked like that. Cool. No, you just, you gave me this one with the stick. All right. It must have been maybe Janet I gave the other one to. With your tail, and Janet, it looks like a mouse. <laughs> somebody asked me what I was going to do with all of these, and somebody else said, oh, it'll be people getting a lot of rocks for Christmas. <laughs> and and rocks in their socks. For Christmas, <laughs> oh. give everybody a rock. That's right. Seems like a good idea. A new form of art. It's a heavy Christmas ornament, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bend your whole tree over. <laughs> Just yeah, love to see my, my grandson when he gets a, a rock in his sock. I mean, he's 14 now, but when he was about two, I mean, tradition was in our families. Everybody got socks for Christmas. Yeah. Among right. other things. <laughs> the first thing, when he saw his first socks, he had the look on his face was just precious. Then the next year, I gave him a, a, a cyclone visor, you know, a hat visor kind of. A, and he couldn't figure out why I gave him this broken hat. <laughs> It's a big hole in it. Yeah. Anybody else want to show us what they've done? Not so much. Not so much. 
Aw, now you got us, you know, expecting. You said you were going to do something different, so. We'll see how it turns out. Okay. I'm not real good at this kind of stuff. I, I, I'm good at following a pattern. If I have exactly the same things you have, I can do something, but. Well, I put, I only had the one rock, so I put yellow on top of the blue, and it's, it's kind of cool, but it's not staying oh. very well on the end, you know? Lily, hold it a little higher. Ah. There you go. Yeah, I just, that's cool. I don't know. It's kind of. What, what school has those colors? Oh, so many. These just happen to be the two colors of yarn that I got, but. It kind of looks like my high school's old colors, which are, I mean, Michigan, Brian, my Brian went to the University of Michigan and they're amazing blue, but this blue isn't dark enough to be that. So. Well, I'm glad 30 people didn't show up for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you think that would have been a problem, Sue? I think that would have been a problem. <laughs> There we go. There you go. It's kind of interesting with that thread because it's. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It makes it, it changes it's color. color in there. Well, that's what I wondered with the variegated yarn that, you know, is, rotates color. Puts the stripes in, yeah. How that would work. We need a geologist here. It's, an, it's another interesting rock I found today. So where do you find all of these? That's pretty. Go down to the riverbed or what? No, we, you guys we, we put some glaciers. rock between our garage and the neighbor's garage. There's about uh, four feet there. So we, a couple years ago, we bought some rock and put it. It's got holes no, no, there. Right the wow, yeah. look at CJ's. <laughs> oh, cool. That's so cool. cool. I like it. <laughs> you know what? I took the end, it was sliding off, and I just pulled it to the other end and put it next to it. So <laughs> like, oh, it's sliding off anyway, but it's tight on the other end. So sure, yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, I forgot my I forgot my loop on this one. So if you don't do the loop, Sue, do you try to just stick it underneath and pull it out the other side? You could. That's what, you know, if you wanted to try some weaving kind of stuff, that's what the um, darning needle could be used okay. for. If you okay. can get it through the eye, if your cord is, is small enough, you can get through the eye. Or you could shove some wire, kind of a wiry loop. You might be able to shove that under there so you could grab it. Well, or if you have a needle threader. Right, same kind of a thing. Because I have a special needle threader that I use for the yarn. Uh huh. So I don't have to try to stick it through the eye. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you one more thing. That doesn't cut your yarn. Trying to pull that through the no. tiny little eye. Oh, well, that's cool. No. Best I dollar I ever spent in my life. Because when I try to weave the ends back in, like this is something I wove on a cricket loom. It's like a little pocket. You put this on your belt and then it's got a, it hangs from your belt. Yeah. And it's a pocket. Oh, that's but, cool. Like but that. when I'm trying to weave in the ends, you know, it gets, if I'm trying to use some kind of needle threader to get it through this needle, I can't, it cuts the yarn half the time. Gotcha. So. There's there's one other way you can and I don't know if it would work. Let me find my needle. So pretend this is a pretend this is a darning needle. It's not a darning needle, it's a stick. And if you were to Loop something over your darning needle and then kind of grab it right at the end and pull it out while you're then you kind of squish that. Mm -hmm. You're squishing that. And sometimes you can put the eye of your darning needle kind of through your fingers and it'll it'll thread. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, what I do with my loop? Now, I wish I had it with me, Billy, but I don't to show you this fancy little thing that I have. It's wonderful. Oh, I do have it. I forgot. <laughs> it's on my scissors. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. You put the needle over this and uh -huh. then stick your yarn through, pull it through. There's another. Is it really, side. really thin then? Yeah, it's, it's like paper wow. thin. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen one. I forgot I brought my sewing, uh, my folding scissors that I had attached it. I tend to lose it, so I have to attach it so it doesn't go anywhere. Right. Okay, I'll show you one way you can like attach something. Uh, I better go over here again. So I've, I've got my loop in and I've got my little 93 thingy over there. And I'll start. If I'm going to attach a stick, I think oh, that would going, be hard for me to that start. direction. I could go over my stick, back around my stick, and keep going. Okay, then I'm coming through the back again, and I go under my stick, over my stick, and keep going the same direction. Here I go again. So under and under my stick. Come back around and over the stick, back under the stick, and around the rock. Okay, you have to hang on to the stick for at least three or four, otherwise it twists, twists right off. Just keep doing that. Oops, stop doing that. So you would twist or wrap anything you attach to the rock, whether it be a stick or a key or. Yeah, you could do it like this, or or you could. Um, oops, in the rock. I'll show you a different way I did it. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off to the side here. Actually, do what I'm done. Right now it's looking like this. But actually, if you, it'll move. You can actually move it down the, you can kind of just roll it down the rock if you would want to. Well, or spread your yarn out. Could you spread the yarn out on it? On the yeah. stick? It kind of, it kind of, you could do that. You could have it because the fact that you're going to kind of going around and divides it here. So yeah, you this is awful. I'd never make it on the magic window teaching somebody, some kid, how to make something. <laughs> Anybody else watch the magic window and uh, anymore? Mary Lou in the magic window. Mary Lou, Betty Lou. Betty Lou. Betty Lou. Oh, because I keep losing my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, Anjanette. What do you attach? Glass bead. A bead? A what? Yeah, a glass bead. Oh, not pretty. I just tied a knot to work. So Sue, if you wanted to add other bobbles, you know, like a stick on or a, a little bead or a little whatever, yeah. do you do it on the string or do you do it on the rock? What I was thinking was, if you, if you knew you wanted about like five beads or something like that on there, what you actually could do is you could you could put them on your string before you start, and put well, them down. I was thinking like these little blings that you could put. Right, but those those are adhesive, right? You don't have those to stick on. Yeah. But anyway, I was thinking, okay, so you could put a bunch of them, say, on a string, 
and you could wind the string around, and when you wanted one of those beads, you could push it to the forefront. Yeah, good idea, Sue. So leave it there, and then keep winding until you want another one, and then we'll run it up there. There's Is that what you did, CJ, to get your beads? No. Off? I just put them on a little loop and, and put attached it to the um, safety pin. I wasn't thinking smart. It looked like you had space between them, like you'd done something to keep them apart. No. No. I found some cool beads today. Oh, okay. You think I could find them again? No. I like the way this looks on the back side better. <laughs> and now it's the front side. <laughs> so you could put feathers in them. You could put, I did this one, which, and, and that I just wound the spiral before I ever started and just kind of taped it in place on oh. both sides. But you could do that with wire or something, make a wire spiral. <laughs> cool. That's what I, I like it. Again. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've got some beads here. It's a roundy one and a flat one. The beads I, I was looking for, I found a bead that was flat like this, only bigger, and it, I think it was uh, wood or something like that. You think I can find it again? No. But pretend that's what this is. <laughs> and then I've got another one. So a person could come up through this flat one here. We'll go through this round one here. We'll go back through the flat one there. And if this was a big flat one, it would look cool. But anyway, you'd have something like this that kind of stuck out. That. As it's not it's not interesting with that little one. Never mind. I did this with a washer. Mm, yeah, that's neat. Yeah, it's like a minion or what are the what are those guys called? Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> they are called minions, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've seen the movie, but I've seen enough of them around. Uh, CJ gave me a bunch of stuff that uh, uh, her husband used to make all kinds of cool stuff that he, and, and I, did he make belts? No, I don't know where those belt buckles came from. Yeah, yeah he, I, part of the thing I got was some belt buckles, so I put a belt buckle on, on my, cool. just because. Yeah, but it looks nice with that color rock. Yeah. And I, and I found this five-sided rock outside one day, so <laughs> made a pentagram on that. Oh, that's cool. Matches the, the graffiti in your attic. <laughs> yeah, I got to get rid of that. <laughs> My house is lovely. It has a wonderful feel to it. It's a hundred years old this year. Wow. But in the attic. <laughs> 
Somebody took a spray, a can of spray paint and painted a great big old pentagram and, and then wrote, I think it's Gray Havens or something like that. I think somebody that rented here had a band or something they must have played up in the attic. But if we ever decide to sell the house, you gotta pull that down first. Yeah. Okay, I thought this was cool. And can you tell what that is? Not really. Yeah. A stick and something. What's yeah, it? it's a branch of a stick. And I kind of started, uh, let me, started winding and then I would go over one branch and under the next and, and the next time oh. I would go under the first branch and over the second. And when the next time I, you know. Yeah, like a God's eye or something. Yeah, like, just keep. That they used to know. make. And I like the way that turned out. I may just stick to baking cakes. That's okay. <laughs> this is less fattening though. Well, baking oh, cakes is fine. You, know, you, give you don't away. know what I'm gonna eat after the stress of doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eat rocks. <laughs> this one I cheated and there's a little there's a penny underneath that thing where they cross uh -huh. only to give it space so that I could wind that white one around it when I was done the penny's still in there here it is oh yeah totally cheating sure because <laughs> there's <laughs> rules you know <laughs> yeah I'm leaving I'm leaving this zoom now because you cheated <laughs> As with any art, it's a there's rules of how to do it. <laughs> Can't use sure. pennies. Sure. So anyway, if you want to try something like this instead, my little wire flower. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's cool. What you do is you take your just a really long piece of wire, okay? Let me get a piece of paper and draw you a picture. I have a really long piece of wire right here, mostly wrapped around my rock, so. A piece of paper, yeah. So say, this is your piece of wire. It goes off in this direction for a long ways. And then you just start bending like that shape. Then you do another of that shape. Can you turn so the shadow's not over what you're drawing? Let me try turn this off and see if that'll help. Ah, uh, I have to turn it. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Another one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the wire bend a little bit so I can do it. Do about five of those. And then you let the, the wire go on forever. Anyway, you bring these two together. Okay, and then start twisting this wire around that one. You got that? See, when you put them together, and where's the rock during all this? It's not on there yet. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So you, you put those together and, and make them all come to a center. And if you were smart, when, and I wasn't at the time, but I think I might have put a bead there before I started twisting the stem so the center had a bead in there. Anyway, so you do the stem, twist it to the stem, and then you go up. And, and make a leaf, come back down here, maybe go around that, come out some, do the same thing over here, go up and round and twist it once. Then you, that's at the bottom of where you've twisted the, the wire together to make a stem. And then you just start going around the rock in both directions. Go take one and go that direction and go wrap the other one in that direction and just twist them in the bottom. We 
got a whole hour out of this, you guys. We sure did. Are we done? An I got hour. one rock. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Is that my fault? I believe so. Okay. You're the instructor. All right. It is five o'clock. But it's, if it's quality, then, you know, yes. there's quality and, and there's quantity. So. That's right. And, right. and my what, what my thing was is I just wanted you to get, feel like you could try it again. Be confident enough and know how to hide your ends. <laughs> I always hide my ends. <laughs> I, did, I did manage to bake a loaf of bread, though, this afternoon, so. Wendy, are you still awake? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just check. <laughs> uh, what kind of bread did you make? Just a plain white loaf. Mm. Does anybody have any questions? Why is the sky blue? I was going to say, I can ask you what my husband's going to ask. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him it's a Zen thing. For meditation, <laughs> it's anti-anxiety. Um. <laughs> um. Um. Actually, I kind of like this one. This is the biggest one I've done. It just, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. Looks like a hot crust bunny. So, Sue, so would you like me to send these, um, the rocks to your home address or to the church? <laughs> or It'd be a little pricey, don't you think? Yeah. Right. Well, it cost me it, 10 bucks for 40 pounds. That's pretty good. Four bucks a pound, that's cheaper than steak. Yeah, well, try sending that in the mail. It'll cost you 200 so. <laughs> My son sent me bricks one time because I told him I wanted oh uh, a brick walk for Mother's Day. So he, he got one of those one-price boxes at the post office oh, yeah. uh -huh. and yeah. filled it with bricks. <laughs> God. And then sent me a you know a gift certificate to Lowe's as well, but he thought it was funny to send me bricks. I bet the postman didn't appreciate that. <laughs> well, it said one price for any week. That's right. That's right. That's what it says. Yep. Well, thank you, Sue. This was very interesting. <laughs> it was fun talking anyway, right? Oh well, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. This is part of a retreat. We don't That's get to right. sit down and visit. That's right. I was just complaining to Angela that we haven't really gotten the chance to chat. How are you I, doing, Deb? I stayed up and finished my uh, puzzle last night, and there were three or four of us, so that was a nice size to chat on Zoom. You have a stick there, Deb? I have a stick and a rock. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you had a stick and a rock. Tied off. <laughs> and you threw it at us. <laughs> Just about. Now I have a broken computer, right? I'm going <laughs> to rock in a hard place. Yeah. I was going to show you this one. I didn't get a chance to tie it off, but I did this one. Oh, that's Ooh. cool. That looks that's good. Neat. Yeah. That's really cool. I just went once all the way around to yeah. make the design. All right. My pieces of ribbon were cut at whatever length, so when I ran out, I had to quit. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought the red one kind of nice. Boy, red, and it's a pain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Millie, what kind of weaving were you talking about earlier when you and I were talking? Um, it's called tablet weaving. You basically, there's... If you can hold on a second, I can grab it. Do you want to yeah. wait a minute? Yeah. Okay, yeah. just a sec. Did somebody just toot? <laughs> oh, Not there's me. a car outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just say I heard that too. But I, I resist. I'm sorry. I didn't hear anything. I didn't smell anything either. We're blaming everything on Wendy. When you're on Zoom, yeah. whoever hears it, dealt it. 
My shoulders are broad. Bring it on. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. So this That's is gorgeous. going to be seven feet long. <laughs> it's, it goes around and around this. It's called an ankle loom. So it's actually a different, it's made for a different kind of weaving. But you warp it up going around and around these. And then where you're actually doing the weaving, you can kind of see where the strings come down and then the pattern comes out the back. So the strings are like in, of course my cards are all messed up, so it's gonna take me a while to figure that out, but that's okay. So, because I have four strings going through the different holes, it comes here and it creates the shed where it splits mm -hmm. and I put the weft through here and then when I turn the cards it's like these are the top strings and these are the bottom strings mm -hmm. uh, this way and when I put the weft through there and then I turn the cards these go like that so right. they lock in the weft and then I go back through the other way and they do this again and they lock it in again but it, so it just does that over and over. So it's the, you can see that the, what, the weft I'm using to go, the part that goes through is the red. Mm -hmm. So the edge of the finished belt is all red. You can't see the yellow because that's like the little tiny loops where, you, where I've gone back and forth with this part in between. And it makes that pattern so you can make something about what six inches wide if you wanted to yeah i mean you can make things a lot wider this is like string kind of it's not as thick as most yarn mm -hmm. but it's thicker than like thread and this is uh 18 cards i think um some people take stuff that's as thin as like this wire and do 40 cards and mm -hmm. it's like that thick it ends up that thick with 40 cards, but because it's very, very thin thread mm -hmm. and you can make really complicated um, patterns in it. This is kind of a traditional Finnish sort of pattern, Nordic pattern. Ooh, yeah. Can you take the pegs out and put longer pegs to make something like a um, cable runner or something? Um, well, the length is determined by how many times you go back and forth on these, right? Right. right. So but the width. I mean, the width, uh, you can also do this literally with just a board with like a, what are those called? Like a clamp, a C clamp on one end and a C clamp on the other end mm -hmm. and just wrap around a dowel to, to wrap up your um, warp here instead of having it just be loose around these pegs. So you can do whatever and make it. I mean, this is going to be seven feet when it's done. You can yeah. see I've got probably, that's probably three feet done already. And it just wraps up at the end. So it's a belt? Um, this is going to be trim on an overdress that's supposed to be 13th century Finnish oh. overdress. Um, and then I have other that I made this is going to go around the bottom and then I made one that's a similar pattern that's going to go around the sleeve part here. So um, it's for a medieval reenactment and education group that I'm a part of called the Society for Creative Anachronism. And um, this is what I got into. I was like, somebody showed me how to do this weaving and I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> and there is like in burials and stuff and in Egyptian tombs. And I mean, all the way back 2000 years, you find yeah. remnants of these for, from trim or belts or you can, it's like regular weaving, like weaving cloth. It's just that you just weave it on this little thing in front of you instead of a huge standing room. Right. Right. And then this cloth I wove out of a similar thickness thread, but it's on a small loom, like a box loom kind of thing, mm -hmm. with an actual hard. Uh, and that attaches to your belt. Was that the one you were showing? Yeah, about? yeah. I put I like put the belt on, and then I put the belt through here, and it hangs. And it's like it's like putting a pocket on a medieval dress. <laughs> it's like you're just hanging it from your belt instead of 
having it woven into the dress because there's no evidence that there were dresses, but I mean that there were pockets on tunics and dresses. So, so people tend to make bags. <laughs> well, we probably better ought to let you go so y'all can get on to the next thing. Yeah. The Thank next you for joining me. Power. Thanks for not bringing your friends. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> Finally got mine kind of I, down. Oh, I did. Cool. Sue. That is cool. Yeah. That's really neat. I brought I like my that. friend. It's you. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. No, I was telling them I'm glad that, you know, 20, 25 people didn't show up to do this. It would have been awful. <laughs> Well, that's what I meant. Well, you. I don't know that this is so purpose so wonderful, but it looks good though. Yeah, I like it's that. Raw. I think I think I'll take a nice close up of it and put it out on Facebook. There we go. There we go. Well, I Thank got the you. I got the yellow to stay still by wrapping wire through it. So there you go. Yeah. Hi, kind of Mar. There you go. Wave, nice. Mar. That works. Mar, Hi, wave. Hello. Wave. He's like, I don't know who I'm waving at. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, All right. Thank you. It was fun. Thanks. See you guys well, later. If, if I don't get back on tonight, stay stay safe and healthy and everything, everybody. Yeah, same Me to too. you. Well, Talk to you later. Wait, 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 wait. What? what, what, what? Uh, we start again at 6 o'clock, and we're done by 7.15. What are you talking about? So, right. so wait, 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 what? Well, I mean, it's only it's like past my bedtime. <laughs> she said you've got time to do that. I said it's past my bedtime. Seven <laughs> fifteen is past your bedtime. I've seen you up later than that before. You must be super hungry then, because this is way past dinner time for you. <laughs> oh, Marv's grilling tonight. <laughs> oh, what? Yum. Marv's grilling. Oh. I thought you said Bob, and I'm like, ah, uh, no, I'm not here. <laughs> I like my medium well, Marv. What are you doing, Marv? Wow, filet mignon. Whoa, really? <laughs> Up the road. Wait, aren't you fancy? I, I don't remember having dinner. filet mignon when I was down there. Well, so I don't realize you're too. still recording. <laughs> what? Oh, you are still recording. You're still oh, recording. I am still recording, yeah. Probably out of stock. <laughs> well, enjoy your dinner. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you guys. No. Love you, Sue. Bye bye. Love you too. Yes, bye. Sir. We need to. We need to talk.